Hello, thank you for joining me. Today I'm in Lavenden. Lavenden is the most northerly village in Buckinghamshire. And the reason we've come here today is to visit the Lavenden Narrow Gauge Railway. This is a miniature railway, so there's an episode of Miniature Railway Britain. I've actually come here in my larder. My larder's parked up there in the car park. I've walked down the road to walk into the railway through the pedestrian entrance. See, there's the railway open on Sunday, so let's go in and have a look. So we should see my larder when we're travelling on the train. So as we go in here, yeah, that's it. Welcome to the Lavenden Narrow Gauge Railway. I think if we walk up here, we should soon find the railway. I've always wanted to come here, but they don't have that many open days. So finally, today is an open day where I'm available. So there's a lot of railway on. I know they've got various model railways. It should be quite an interesting place to spend the afternoon. Call that railway on they've got there. And then we get to here, 74 signals. And uh, there's a gauge one model railway, and it looks like if we go over here, you see the whistle of a steam loco, tea room there. There's a train, a steam train. The lady's just pulled the signal, so I think that train, or one of the trains, is going to go. We're going to have to have a ride on them. I think the steam train's going. Let's watch it go. Here's a gauge one model railway. Uh, it looks like they've currently got Thomas and Percy chasing each other around. See, there's Thomas over there with Annie or Clarabel, and um, Percy somewhere there as well. I'm going to go and see if I can get a ride on the train. So here we are, we're going to go for a ride on the diesel train. The diesel train does one circuit, the steam train does a separate circuit. So what it means is we'll have a ride on this first, and then we'll go and have a ride on the steam train.
So here we are, this is Twin Oaks. So this is where the train's taken us to. So we traveled through the station, went right round, then we came back, got off here. We'll catch the train back. While we're here, we'll have a little look around. There's some model railways over there. We'll have a look at them in a minute. There's some other quite interesting exhibits, some various agricultural exhibits. It's not just railway stuff you can come here and see. I noticed from the train, there was some cockpits of airplanes. We're definitely gonna have to look at those later. So I'll say agricultural and um, gardening exhibits, lawnmowers etc um, all sorts some old standard gauge railway vans there and then if we go over here there's a blacksmith's forge in there there's a nice model of a signal box there i'll say this is the, the railway line let's go if we go across the railway see what else we can see so as i said earlier on there's a steam train out as well it seems the steam train is going over that little bridge over there you can just see my larder over there so i'll say i did come in the larder and then it goes right round round the back round there now here we have some model railways so it looks like we've got o gauge and then double o in the middle there goes a the class 37 with a good train the other way goes a 9 here and there's a northeastern lnr loco behind it completely hidden by the 9F strain. I'll let you watch them disappear. Yeah, if we look on the other side of the pond, we can see the class 37 going along there. So, this is you can stand here and watch trains on the little trains and then wait for a seven and a quarter inch gauge train to take us back. So, I think I'll try and we'll have to wait and see what happens, but obviously, I need to catch a train back because to see these exhibits you have to catch the train here so i'll catch the train back and i'm going to try and get a ride on the steam train there's the first seven again
So I've now changed trains. I've got back to Lavenden on the diesel. I'm now on the steam train. It's a station road steam locomotive built up in Lincolnshire. As you can see, the diesel is just backing onto her train, and then we're going to go for a ride. So we're going to do some of what we did on the diesel, and then a loop around the field. So it's going to be quite an exciting little ride. That's all right. I've now to ride on the steam train pulled by number two, the Lady H. As I said, she's a station road steam locomotive, so that was a good little trip. I'll have a look at some of the other exhibits. There's a massive Ferguson tractor, and then behind us here, this is probably one of the most unusual set of exhibits. There's various cockpits of aeroplanes. Now, I'm not really an aviation expert, um, I think that's probably a Lightning. I'm not sure which one is, but it, see how the cockpit's on one side? I think that's quite cool. And then I recognise on the end that's uh, Walker Hunter. So it's an interesting place if you like transport in general. And um, I think that's a permanent exhibit. There's an old Land Rover park there. And um, as I said, my larder is, is it's down the other end. We went past it on the train. So it really is quite an interesting place. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to use this field to do a bit of line siding and then um, it'll be time to go. So get some quite good views of the line that both the the steam and the diesel run along these lines here and then just the steam train runs I think the diesel's too big so I can hear one of the trains uh, just to give you another idea 
off yet. So I think the diesel's coming back. When the diesel train comes back, it comes off this spur, that line there. You don't do that on the steam train. So the steam train effectively does a figure of eight. The diesel, you go around through the station, get off, and then you come back. Let's watch the diesel go by. We'll do a bit more line siding after that. And then the um, tunnel up there uh, is also, it's like that's the carriage shed for at night. So I'm just going to hang around here, we'll do some line siding.
I've had a great afternoon here at the Lavenden Narrow Gauge Railway. It's been nice to finally ride this railway, having lived in Buckinghamshire all my life and never actually been to this one before. It's I've ticked it off. It's funny because it is, like I say, it's about as far away from Buckinghamshire. I live in South Bucks. It is the furthest away I can get and still be in Buckinghamshire. Here comes the diesel again. So I've enjoyed riding behind that and the steam loco. It's been quite, it's been a very interesting afternoon. Nice to see the model trains too. There's the model railway over there, which is quite fun. You really can see it from here. You have to ride the train if you want to get a better view of the model railway. So those people, they'll now get off and they'll be able to have a look at the model railway. So thank you very much for watching. Please do feel free to like, subscribe and comment. Do come and visit the North Bucks and Arrow Gauge Railway. They don't have that many open days a year, so have a look on their website to see when they're running, but do come and visit them. It's a really nice afternoon, so thank you very much.